Hi, I'm Rashmi and welcome to my show. Today I'm going to show you how to activate your core abdominal muscles and we'll do a couple of exercises for you to see whether you're actually using your abdomen or not. Sometimes when you exercise, when I keep saying use your core, use your abdomen, activate your abdomen, some of you have written to me and said you don't understand what exactly that means. So I'll show you simple exercises to figure out how to use your abdominal muscles and also for you to understand whether you're using it or not. So the best and the easiest way for you to figure it out is for you to lie down on your back. So that's what we're going to start doing. So you lie down on your back with your knees bent and keep your feet on the floor. So once you lie down, first you want to ensure that you can feel your entire spine on your mat, which is very easy since your knees are bent and you can feel your feet on the floor. Your spine will automatically be lengthened and you'll feel your lower back on the floor. If you can't feel your lower back on the floor, what you need to do is you need to lift your hips up, tilt your pelvis upwards and slowly lengthen your spine and come back down on your mat. Yeah, so spine is on the floor. Next, you start breathing through your rib cage. Usually when we breathe, we inhale, the air goes into your lungs, your lungs push your diaphragm down and that's why your abdomen expands. So now when you breathe, we're just going to breathe shallow breath. So it's just normal breathing without taking your attention and breathing deeply. So while you inhale and exhale, you should feel your rib cage expanding and contracting. And you should feel your abdomen pulled in and tightened. So when I'm breathing, I am not expanding my abdomen and contracting my abdomen. I'm letting my abdomen be and only using my rib cage to inhale and exhale. Now after this, you want to tighten your abdominal muscles and your pelvic floor muscles. Abdominal muscles, suck it in and pull it in. Your pelvic floor muscles are the muscles that you use to pee. So you want to tighten them and this whole area will remain tight. So you're breathing through your rib cage, you tighten your abdomen and you tighten your pelvic floor muscles. So breathe for a few breaths. So if you're not understanding what we're doing, this exercise that I'm going to show you now will help you understand what to do. So you're going to exhale and raise your right leg up and you inhale, you bring your right leg down. You exhale, bring your left leg up. Inhale, bring your leg down. So keep continuing, lifting one leg up at a time. Remember that your knees will be bent in a 90 degree angle. So while I lift my leg up, my knee remains bent. I do not bend from my knee and get it down. I get it down in the same motion as I got it up. Now while you keep lifting your leg up on the exhale and bringing it down on the inhale, you want to take your attention to your abdominal area and tighten it. It's actually that feeling when you go and stand in front of a mirror and you say, oh, I want my abdomen to go this in, I want to be this thin. It's that same thing, but you don't hold your breath. You keep breathing while you do that. So this is a simple exercise. For you to just lift your leg up as you exhale, bring it down as you inhale. You might not even realize that you're actually using your core abdomen to pick up your leg and bring it down. Moving on, we're going to try with both legs now. So what you need to do is, on the exhale, you lift your first leg up. On the inhale, you lift your second leg up. But while you do this, your abdomen should not lift off and become like a mountain. So the way I like to explain it to my students is that it doesn't become a mountain, it should go in and become a valley. So you keep one hand on your abdomen, you exhale, lift your first leg up, inhale, get your second leg up, exhale, get your second leg down, inhale, you get the first leg down. So you don't want to really push your abdomen in with your hand. Your hand is just there to figure out whether you're using your core or not. Remember, we want valleys and not mountains. If you're not understanding the breathing, you just focus on the movement and the breathing will happen after you figure out the movement. Yeah, we'll try a few more times. First leg up, second leg up, 
second leg down first leg down first up second up second leg down first leg down keep going the breathing is exhale on the first leg inhale second leg up exhale second leg down inhale first leg down so you keep starting with the same leg that you were starting with and ensure that you're tightening your abdominal muscles as much as you can now if you want to just pause and look at me i'm going to do one where i'm not holding my abdominal muscles in so i lift my first leg up i bring my second leg up so you see there was a big mountain here which you don't want so that's what you want to try and control and pull it in one last time first leg up second leg up second leg down first leg down now we'll try the same thing but starting on the second leg and ending with the second leg so you lift your second leg up then you go with the first leg leg down and down keep going remember to keep tightening when that second leg comes up so that you're activating your core your breathing is exhale inhale exhale inhale we'll do it couple more times again remember to suck it in keep breathing if you notice i'm talking while i'm doing it what tends to happen to a lot of people is when your second leg comes up you tend to hold your breath because you're tightening your whole body so you need to keep breathing while you do this do not hold your breath one last time and that is it so these were a couple of simple exercises that you can do to figure out how to use your core and whether your core is actually being activated or not i hope you can apply this to your yoga practice and this helps you become stronger thanks for watching and i'll see you soon